what's up everybody it's poppy money here coming to you with another video honey i was driving let me lotion up a little bit of a little ashy but i was driving and oh my gosh like i got my shawarma i hope i'm saying it right but yeah i just i have my food i got everything ready my hummus i got my tabbouleh over here like i'm ready to eat watch you because y'all i just started watching you like don't shoot me but you know what i'm saying get on netflix and just chill you feel me but like i just kept feeling it in my heart and my spirit like do this video i'm like ah oh, nah that ain't them girl it was getting so loud I'm like, oh, you know, you just feel that tingly for my people that do like readings, like everybody's spirit guides, angels, ancestors, everybody's people talk to them differently. But man, when they want something to get done, they'd be like, dang, like I could feel it. I could feel it. Like, I'm like, oh my gosh. Okay. I got you. So today's reading is going to be how would they feel if they saw you again, it does not matter who you are thinking about. Just think of somebody. You guys could pick multiple piles. Well, I would actually refrain from picking multiple piles because there was multiple different energies coming through. But you guys can, you know, do what you want. But based on different people, I don't know. You know what I'm saying? You can pick multiple if you want, but I would pick a single pile. But if you want to do multiple people, that's what I was trying to say. Do that. It's, it should be interesting for sure. But... We're going to be looking at how would they act? How would they react? What do you need to know if you were to see this person again? There's somebody that's been coming in your mind. You don't know why they're coming up in your mind. You're just like, I wonder how would it be if we saw each other again? Okay, so we have pile one, pile two, pile three, and pile four. This is my new deck, my new new. Uh, I think it's like custom. It's like a custom deck, like a... It's like the Rider Waite tarot, but it's like in pink. Like you can find it on Etsy. I'll try to link it if I remember down below. I got a couple good Etsy decks, you know what I'm saying, that I'm gonna be linking. But yes, without further ado, let's get started and I'll see you guys at your pie. I was talking way too much in the beginning, wasn't I? I don't never talk that much. Like that's how you know it's been a, it's been a while for P. So pile one, who are you asking about? Because I'm gonna already just like give it to you straight. Whoever this is would be ecstatic. They will be happy. I feel like I'm, I'm hearing thirsty. <laughs> Let me tell you why. I don't know. It doesn't matter who you guys are. The general energy is they will be very happy. Um, whether platonic, romantic, it doesn't matter. I feel like whoever this is, believe it or not, I'm hearing front end. Like somebody's been acting like they could care less if they saw you. That's for some of y'all. But honey, they would care. Like if they saw you, it's almost like one of them things where it's like, They've been waiting to talk to you. Like, they've been waiting to see you. They've been hoping they could bump into you and y'all could talk. So, let me show y'all what I was getting. Look at this. Look at that. Look at that. Are you seeing it? The Empress, honey. I'm not about to play with y'all. Ooh, that's a little low. Maybe like right here. Eh, no. Like this. No. Hold on. I got this. Okay. I don't know, y'all. We're, we're not going to do it that low, but... <laughs> I don't know but anyway uh we have the empress maybe that's a message did y'all like some of y'all don't even want this person because i am getting a romantic vibe some of y'all don't even want this person but it's almost like maybe y'all like close the door on this person or maybe someone was sleeping on y'all back in the day i don't know but whoever this is if they saw you again for my people where it's romantic actually even if it's not they admire you they think you're beautiful i think they would think you are beautiful that you've grown up they're just like wow like it's been so long like this person looks so different even if it hasn't been a long time it's something about you that has changed i don't know if you changed your hair um i don't know your your dressing i don't know how you dress it's giving me childhood crush right now i don't know why but i don't know it's something about you that for whatever reason looks very different to this person and now they're starting to see you in this light where they're like damn like they are attractive or wow she's doing really good he's doing really good um that's what it's giving okay so again it may not be romantic um for some of you guys but if you guys are asking about a romantic interest because that's what it's giving honey oh now who just said that okay i just heard they want to jump your bones but i don't even talk like that like that's that old time talk Oh, they would jump your bones. That's so freaking funny. But for real though. Okay, so we have, look at this. I'm telling you, thirst wall. Okay, it's giving thirsty. We have the Empress, the Eight of Wands, 
the sun i just heard whoever this is honey if this used to be a snakey link okay honey and they want to run it back <laughs> they want to run it back they want to run it the fuck back stat okay stat like with the quickness Whoever this is, they was waiting to talk to you. For some of y'all, y'all might not have even broke up. Y'all could be cool, but maybe this is somebody. Another storyline that I'm getting is almost like you guys haven't met this person yet. And but this is a if we met again. But I don't know. Someone might be on here, and this is giving like it's almost. I'm getting the catfish storyline, but it's like it's not a catfish. It's almost like y'all haven't seen each other in a while, and you're trying to see like, is this person real? Maybe it's. I don't know. Cause this is supposed to be an again. Pick a card. But it's almost giving me maybe you guys have been FaceTiming or like talking already and then maybe like you guys are going to be meeting each other. I don't fucking know. But anyway, however you spin it, flip it, rub it down. Okay, you know how Pete goes. They're happy as fuck. I mean, the Empress, the Sun, Leo, Energy, Taurus, Energy coming through here. Libra, the King of Wands. I'm not about to play with y'all. They would have fuck. Okay, I'm, I'm sorry. They might not, you know, depending on if this is platonic or not. But with this Empress card and this King of Wands, I don't care if you're masculine or feminine and the la look at this the last card is two of cups it doesn't matter if you're masculine or feminine or whatever okay at the end of the day i'm gonna just put this right here my ocd is kicking in oh my gosh hold on hold on Ugh. let me back that up back that up boom okay um this is how they're seeing you. This is how they're seeing themselves. So whoever this is, I'm not going to lie. I feel like they think highly of themselves in some capacity or by the time y'all would see each other again, they would have a little bit more confidence or have something established. But it doesn't matter whether you're masculine or feminine. You're coming up as the empress. <laughs> the empress out... It outweighs the King of Wands any day. Just like the emperor outweighs any of the kings, queens any day. It's like whoever this is, they're like, damn, ooh, man, they think you look good, okay? They think you look good, two of cups. I'm getting they want to fuck. I'm getting they want to see you. Oh, I shouldn't have said that because am I going to have to? That wasn't explicit, though, so I don't have to mark that. Mm. Okay, I'm going to try not to be as explicit. It's Okay, it's giving. If this could be an 18-plus reading, I would really make it an 18-plus reading. Like, that's the type of energy that's coming off of this. But even then, it's I'm telling y'all, I don't know if y'all tried before and maybe this person moved away. There's a lot of, wow, I see this person in a new light. This could be the one. There's a lot of, wow, like, I'm so happy to see you. Even if it's platonic, like, wow, I'm so happy to see you. You look good. You've been doing great. For real, for real, like, overall, it's just really giving. Like, I'm just really happy to see you. I'm just so happy to see you. Let me see if I can get some extra messages because it's pretty straightforward with this pile and I'm trying to keep it as general as possible. I will say they wouldn't show it, but for some of you guys, and you'll know if this um, if this is your story or not, however you guys left off, they might be a little bit sad or they're sad that you guys have not seen each other in so long. Like They're just like, it shouldn't have ever been this long. Um, yeah, because I had seen decrease. That's why I was saying that. But look, now we have increase. Whoever this is, like, they're going to let you know, like, hey, like, I don't think we should go that long without talking. Or there's going to be a lot of, like, y'all bumping into each other or however y'all supposed to be meeting right here. It's a lot of bumping into each other. But look, they, that's not going to be the only bump, okay? Like, they going to want to, hey, let's keep up. Like, hey, we should keep in touch. Like, hey, let me get your number. Like, hey, add me on this. Like, you know what I'm saying? They're going to make sure that whatever distance y'all have between y'all it is not a thing. Like, they're going to really, honey, you're going to be... <laughs> You're not even going to be able to feel the distance. Like, whoever this is, they want to be a part of your life. Power one. Yes, angels of the four directions. You know what else, too? If this is somebody that y'all tried in the past, that y'all are possibly willing to give another chance. I mean, well, really, it don't matter if you want to give them another chance or not because they want to give you another chance, okay? Um, I just feel like with the angels of the four directions, they didn't have a moment of clarity. And believe it or not, this is what this is giving me. I've been waiting all my life. I just keep seeing someone on their knees and then they finally see you and they're like talking to God and they're like, oh my gosh, thank you so much. <laughs> like, finally. It's almost like when you finally unblock somebody and they instantly message you. It's like, no, nah, you've been waiting. You've been waiting. Like, let's not even try to play these games. Whoever this is, they've been literally waiting for you to either bump into them or like, however this is resonating, yes. That's how you look to them, whether masculine or feminine. 
You look radiant. I just heard radiant ravishing. What's going on? Please tell me who you are, pile one, because honey, I'm picking up on whoever this is. They wouldn't even know how to contain themselves. Like the energy is just so like this, like, I'm sorry, like this, like <laughs> shaky, but it's so happy. Like they would be so happy to see you. They would be complimenting you. Like I'm talking about literally boosting your ego. And even if they didn't say anything, that's really what's going on in their mind. But all I'm going to say though, whoever this is, be careful because this is giving real big come back to my room type energy. And if you down with that, you know, be down with that. But I'm just letting you know, like the king of wands energy with the empress energy, they're looking at you like, dang, what's up? Okay, but still, you're coming up as the empress. I just want to remind you, you're coming up as the empress. They're coming up as the king, which is still not bad. But I'm just saying, you're a step up. So just remember, just remember who you are. Remember, remember that divine essence, okay? But honey, yeah, like this person, like, I don't know. They're like... <laughs> I don't know. Like, this could be a thing, though, y'all. I don't know who this is. Like, this could be a good friendship, but I'm not getting friendship. You know, I just got to keep putting that in because this is a general. I'm talking about this could be a shebang bang. This might be your person or this is going to be. All I'm going to say is if you guys do, you know, do the, you know, explosive, explosive. No doubt about it. Okay. So, yes, pile one. That is your spread. Please let me know how it resonates. And we're going to move on to pile right. two. Pile two. Okay. I don't know why, but I can't remember what the vibe was with y'all pile. But I literally just <laughs> got the song from Shrek. Don't go changing. <laughs> so maybe when this person sees you again, just like pile one, but not as big energy. Um, oh, fuck. Please don't tell me this is that one pile. There's a cocky pile up in here and I wasn't feeling the energy, but I don't feel like it's this one. Um, I don't know. It's something about maybe... The last time you saw this person, something about you was different or something about them was different. Somebody's going to have like more piercings, different hair color. It's something that they haven't seen you in or something that they you haven't seen them in that's going to be like, whoa, like I didn't know you were into that. Or, whoa, I didn't know you had that type thing. So you guys are going to be checking each other out and being like, oh, that's different. Okay, but let's see. Yep, this was that pile. This isn't the cocky pile, but this is the, ooh. Can I just be honest? L let me let me tell y'all where I'm about to go with this. This was that pile. <sighs> pile two, I don't really think they're gonna be happy to see you. <laughs> Not like happy, like it's almost like this. I don't know what happened between y'all and I'm gonna tell y'all why. It's multiple cards in here that go in line with this. This was the last card. Pile two. Y'all can let me know down below, but there's a little bit of a conflict here. There's like a, a bittersweet type of energy. You ever had beef with somebody, whether this is a romantic interest, platonic, there was some type of beef, but it's been some time between, you know, the beef that y'all had, or maybe it hasn't, I don't know. But y'all see each other and y'all both look good, but it's still like, fuck you or like, you know, like even if it's an old friend, like they look pretty, you know, you kind of miss them. But it's like, ah, I remember, bitch, I still don't like you. Like that's what it's giving. Like, so it's almost like whoever this is, they would be very conflicted. I'm hearing from somebody like some of y'all got this person blocked or vice versa. So it would be very awkward for you guys to kind of run into each other. Oh, gosh. OK, we got look at this. I'm telling you all the two of swords. I told you all five of wands. The seven of cups it's almost like they would be confused i'm seeing that y'all would see each other in front of friends okay so for my other people still kind of falling in line with the ace of swords in reverse okay uh i don't know if this is shame guilt for some of you guys whoever this is if y'all were to see them again it's almost like things will replay again about how they did you and I feel like there's shame around that and there's guilt around that so if y'all have this person blocked or y'all got into some type of <laughs> little scuffle or something or they did something wrong to you I feel like you guys also would see each other when there's other people around I keep getting a mall setting or like them being around friends and it's almost like they would act like they didn't see you um but honey after this is so weird after y'all get out of each other's presence this is the energy that they would be in. It's almost like they would be consumed again with their guilt. For some of y'all, I'm not going to lie. If you see this person again, it's on site. I don't know what that's about. I don't know if that's you feeling that way towards them. But there is a potential here because I'm getting multiple storylines. Let me, let me just break it down like this. For some of you guys, some of y'all have been trying to avoid this person. 
And if y'all saw them, I keep getting somebody looking at somebody and they're like, I swear y'all, they're like, okay, should we fight? Should we, should I go to that person or should I not? Whether you want to fight this person or maybe just confront this person, I'm seeing somebody literally like in their mind going through like <laughs> with all their different personalities, like, okay, what we about to do? What we about to do? And then it's almost like a back and forth and finally you go into it. I'm literally seeing somebody fight at the mall or fight at a fair or a festival or at a family get together. I'm literally seeing that. I don't know why. So that's the first storyline. The other storyline I'm getting is there's somebody that you haven't seen for a while. This could be like a breakup. Maybe you had this person blocked or maybe you blocked off your emotions from this person. And it's almost like when you see them, it sparks something in you, but you're just so confused. You're like, oh my gosh, like, why am I seeing this person right now? I look a mess or even if you look good, it's almost like, wow, I was not expecting to see this person. I wasn't ready. I was not prepared. I'm confused. I don't know how I feel. It's almost like seeing this person will put you in an energy of, I'm talking about y'all, or even them. I'm sorry, y'all. Flip, flip it how it needs to be flipped. Them, you. It's almost like seeing this person and seeing you will put them in this energy of like, I don't know how to feel. And for that to have came out like that, that's how I know y'all would be mirroring each other. They don't know how to feel about you. They don't know how you coming. You don't know how to feel about them. You don't know how they coming. So everybody's in this awkward energy. The conversation is awkward. Y'all try to talk. Okay, maybe. But then there's also conflict in that because now we talking about old shit that we really don't need to be talking about. And now I'm still confused. Now I'm getting the storyline of this is somebody um, that y'all might have been dealing with that kind of ghosted you. Now they caught up. We in person, we seen each other, we talking about what happened, what's up, what's good? That's what it's giving. I keep seeing somebody talking to a taller male and it's a shorter girl and they're like, okay, so you did this, why? And you know, then like, it's almost like it started off okay, got awkward, y'all got into it because y'all started talking about past stuff or maybe, ooh, y'all might catch this person or this person might see y'all. Girl, don't tell me this person gonna see y'all again and somebody already got a connection. If this is giving real messy, okay? It's almost like if y'all was to see this person again, I don't know if there's friends around or if this is like their their person, a third party situation and the, the secrets come out, I don't know. But this is what I will say. If they saw you again, they will be even more confused um, than, than how they felt when they initially saw you after they left you, five, five, five on the clock. This person would be so confused. Something about like seeing you would be like a, oh my gosh, like they look different or like, oh my gosh, but it would be like, nah, like I'm good. But I'm telling you, this is what it's giving. Cause this is a short, this is a shorter pile and I'm gonna pull some other cards for y'all. Um, if y'all want to leave a mark, it's almost like there's going to be a mark that's left if y'all was to see each other again. They would not know what to do. I keep getting someone stumbling, feeling awkward, trying to hide themselves, even trying to hide from you. Um, y'all might even be playing a, a game of like, y'all not really looking at each other. Y'all acting like y'all ain't see each other, but y'all did. But all, I, all I'm going to say is you and this person, I keep having to say both of y'all. Y'all will both be confused after y'all left. Like, let's say if y'all ran into each other at the mall or like the supermarket and like, I don't know. I don't even know if y'all would talk to each other. It would just be an inner conflict. Like a, the, the, the air is heavy. Like the tension is thick. Y'all might not even say anything to each other. But I know when you go home and go in the car, you're going to be like, what the fuck? Like, why did I see that person? Or, oh my gosh, like, I don't know, like, how to feel about that. So let me see if there's anything else. How would they feel? Pile two's person. How would they feel if they saw them again? I'm telling y'all. Look. We have irreplaceable. The way you love can never be matched. I'm telling y'all, for some of y'all, this is somebody that y'all was dealing with and something about seeing you is like a bittersweet, like, I don't know how to take this. Because sometimes, you know, I've done that before. I've ran into some of my exes and I'm almost positive they felt the same way. I ain't want to see them, but they was looking good. And I was just like, oh, oh. and it put me in a weird spot. Or like, y'all know when you have somebody like that you don't want to talk to and y'all go a long time without talking, you finally getting over them and then they pop up, you know, they be doing that. And then now all of a sudden you, you questioning your whole destiny. Like, damn, I, that, that could be the one. No, and damn all day was toxic as fuck. That's what it's giving, okay? We also have gossip. I'm afraid of what other people will think. That could mean something for some of y'all, but I'm telling y'all, this is giving me real big group. I feel like if y'all was to see this person, they would have some type of entourage. Um, but I'm also picking up on there was some type of conflict on why y'all not talking now. Um, that has to do with gossip or lies or some type of something. It's petty. It's drama. If y'all not in the drama <laughs> or if this is not like you, whoever y'all asking about, if it's not 
petty mess going on or like involved this is not your pile because this is giving drama like whoever's pile this is this is very specific and look at this i don't want to run anymore is there something underneath this oh no but that's not what I'm, I'm picking up on i'm picking up on someone running that's what this is giving me it's almost like if y'all was to see this person again flip the energy how it needs to be flipped someone was avoiding I don't know if this is a ghosted situation, left, broke up with no type of explanation. Oh, this would be a confrontation of some sort, whether it be energetically, like, oh, wow. And someone would be left thinking about, you know, like I said, thinking about, like, oh, my gosh, like, I can't believe I saw that person running down memory lane. Or it's going to be a physical <laughs> confrontation, whether by words or literally fighting. I don't know why I'm getting that because someone's been blocked off and it's like, oh, no, what's up? But I feel like once y'all are out of each other's presence again after this little meeting, there's confusion. I have to ask about this Ace of Swords being in reverse. There's like a lack of clarity. You know what else this is giving me? If y'all was to see this person again with that Ace of Swords, I don't think they would talk to you. Some of y'all might, and y'all will know who y'all are because it's almost like with this Two of Swords and that Ace of Swords in reverse, they don't want to talk. But look at all this. The Five of uh, Wands, you got the Nine or Eight of Swords, I can't count right now, and the Seven of Cups. It's all types of mental conflict. Everything, let me tell you, they, they might act like they not bothered. <laughs> bothered. Bothered. So bothered, it's not even funny. The energy is crazy, okay? The energy is crazy. Look at this, y'all. This just fell the deck. The energy is crazy. They're extremely bothered. So what happened? Who is this? Okay. So let's see. If there's anything else, so how would they feel? Like, why do they feel like this? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I'm telling you. Look. The tower card. Because it's unexpected as fuck. See, you is so unexpected. They're still not healed about whatever happened between y'all, which I feel like has something to do with the death card breakup, Scorpio energy, heavy Scorpio, okay, and Queen of Pentacles. Y'all both look good. You look good. They look good. They was not expected to see you in a hood. That's just what it's giving. I had to write on that last part. <laughs> I'm so cringy. But no, for real. And that might be why y'all stopped dealing with this person too. Someone's awkward here um, or just something is like, mm, girl, <sighs> I don't know what it's, I don't know what's going on here, but like, I don't know. This is messy. It's like, it's so energetically messy that it's funny because I really feel like y'all probably wouldn't talk to each other, but the tension is thick. Anything else for Kyle too? Mm. Toxic, unhealthy behaviors, people. I mean, it's all in the cards. Mess. Mess, 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 mess. Okay? Let's see. How to? Telepathic <laughs> alien. Telepathic dream songs. I feel like this person be in your energy now, and that might be why you're asking about them during the reading, but that's what it's giving. Telepathic dream songs. That telepathy. This is what I'm seeing between y'all if y'all was to see each other. There might not be no words, but this is the energy. If someone was to put like a, um, a sensor to like literally like look at the energy and see what's going on this is what they would see i feel like you would be all over the place they would be all over the place and there's just a lot of tension i don't know how else to say it it's just all over the place okay so yes pile two that was your reading please let me know how it resonates and we're gonna move on to pile, pile three not gonna lie i think y'all um reading gonna be short i did not i think it was y'all let me see let me look up under here because y'all wasn't feeling it wasn't feeling the energy at all um, yeah, this was a cocky month right here. Yeah. Whoever this is, I don't know if they're a Capricorn, whoever this is, I'm getting arrogant, I'm getting cocky, um, and I don't know why. You guys can let me know down below, and if that's not the case, which I feel heavily that it is, um, there's an energy here. This person could really like, for some of y'all, if you know for a fact they'd be watching your stuff, there's like a little bit of an obsession here, or maybe you guys were in a toxic connection before. There's like an obsession, but there's also like a hatred. So I almost feel like if y'all was to see each other, there would be like a standoff. That's what I wanted to say. But yes, look at this. The Nine of Cups. Mm, selfish. Look at this. The Hangman. A lot of Pisces energy. Seven of Swords, Aquarius energy. And um, the Devil. Capricorn, okay? Like, I just, I don't even know if this person would even, let me tell y'all, whoever this is, don't even talk to them. <laughs> That's all I'm gonna say.
All right, pile three. I totally forgot. I just got done with pile four and I remembered that these cards was actually sitting there. Back to the message that I gave y'all. I just want y'all to remember this or look at these. The Emperor and the King of Swords. Stand off energy. I don't know what's going on with how Pow 3. Is it Pow 3, Pow 2? Y'all, I don't know what's going on with y'all. Like, who is this? Like, who's in these energies? Is this you and this person? Yeah, just stay clear. Just stay clear and that's it, okay? Um, don't even talk to them. For some of y'all, if this is a, a love connection, this person might literally come around you, talk your panties off, talk your drawers off, and then literally just like act like nothing ever happened. This is giving real big hit and quitted type of energy. I don't know what that's about, but um, let me get one more card. Pile three, what's going on here? Ooh, shocks, okay. The Ace of Cups, this is not a, a new person. This is somebody that y'all had already been dealing with. There's some history here, but yeah, it wouldn't go well. Ace of Cups in reverse, no. Whoever y'all asking about, I mean, you know, do what you wanna do, but let me see what's happening here because it's hard for me to even say what they would do if they saw you again because I don't even know if they would do anything. It's almost like they think they're above you. What is this about? It's almost like they think they can have you whenever they want. So it's really no need for them to feel anything besides let me play with this person a little bit. Let me go over there and see if I still got it a little bit. What's going on? Okay, what's going on? For others, if this is a friend, I just see somebody, this is the type of person, it's either gonna be a pal or it's not. This is the type of person, I'm like, mm -mm, girl, let me tell you, this is the type of person. If you was to see them in public, and even if you don't say anything to them, I feel like they would be trying to show off and act like they don't see you. They would probably be acting different, acting like y'all wasn't friends. I don't like the energy, okay? I don't like the energy. This is a very sneaky, sneaky, and it has nothing to do with even this card being here. It has nothing to do with that. It's this energy is just so, it's almost like an independent, selfish energy. We got the hangman in reverse. It's a very two-faced energy too coming through here. No offense to my Pisces, but I just have to call it. Then we got the freaking seven of swords. Something is very sneaky about this. What is it about? What does Pile um, 3 need to know about this person? I think this is more about what you need to know about them. Let me tell y'all, whatever they say to you, don't believe it. There's something here. It's almost like if y'all saw each other, um, there's a lot of like playing it, playing it a certain way, but it's not real. We have the Hermit card, Virgo energy. I'm hearing from Spirit. Yeah, exactly, y'all. The, the Hermit and the Five of Pentacles. Leave them where they, listen, leave them where they lay, okay? Whoever this is, what I'm hearing from spirit, and this might be what spirit's telling them about you, y'all don't even need to speak to each other. Because if y'all get back in this little finagle, it's not gonna be a, it's not gonna be a good thing. Y'all gonna get right back in the same motion that y'all was in before, so y'all might as well just leave each other alone. Listen, you see each other, you walk one way, they walk another way. Y'all walk both y'all separate ways, act like y'all ain't even see each other. That's literally what's coming through. I'm so serious. Why? What happened in the past? What happened here? There's a lack of wanting to cooperate. Look at, girl, the Six of Swords. We got the Four of Cups. I feel like this is not in the Queen of Wands. Um, and the Queen of Swords. For some of y'all, there was some mess. Y'all just like Pile 2, but not like Pile 2. There's something messy here. This could be an old friend, or this could be um, like a petty friend, or someone that was jealous of you, or there could have been a lover that had two of y'all, or three of y'all, probably five, I don't know, maybe two or three. I don't know, like there was something that happened here that was very sneaky, so I just feel like if y'all was to see each other, whoever this is, and it's just so, it's funny to me, because whoever this is, I told y'all from the jump, I did not like the energy, arrogant. But they still feel like they can, they can swipe in whenever they want to. Let me tell y'all something. I don't give a fuck how you feel in your soul and your spirit. I mean, y'all talk to y'all people. I don't care. You don't have to. I, I don't want to say this. Don't go over there trying to be cool with this person. I don't care if you miss them. This is just, I don't know. I'm really feeling, don't be, don't be fooled. I'm just hearing it. Don't be fooled. Don't think that you need to go over there, make amends, none of that. Like, just leave this, leave this be. This would be a real big energy around just, just, yeah, that's it. Like, let me see what else is coming out for y'all. 
What else for pile three? Wish, hope, praying, yearning. Y'all, if this is a friend that was, was really mean to you or someone that was really mean to you, it, why, why do you even want to see this person again? I mean, I'm not saying that y'all want to, but like, I don't, I don't know. It's almost like there's someone here that, that don't need to be in your life that's like, if y'all was to bump into each other, why do you even want them in your life? I mean, I know we didn't ask for that, but like, look, online looking for info records, that's what it was giving. Remember that Seven of Swords online looking for info records? I don't know who this person is. It's sneaky. It's almost like if they saw you, you know what else it's giving? Old friend, old lover, don't care, don't give a fuck. Okay, it's almost like if y'all was to see each other, this person would try to talk to you and come to you like this. As if they're like in this good energy, um, wanting to be friends, wanting to make amends, wanting to see how you're doing. But really, all they're trying to do is pry. All they're trying to do is see if they still got it, okay? That's all I'm gonna say about that. And we're gonna move on to pile four. So yes, pile three, ew, okay? Yes, pile three, look at this. Single, current status, available. That's how y'all need to stay if, you, if you're not already with somebody. And if they telling you they single, no, they not. They, they're not, they're lying, okay? But anyway, pile three, that was your spread. Please let me know how it resonates and we're gonna move on to pile four. I'm just gonna bring it to you like this real quick. Whoever this is, they will be nervous, fumbling, not knowing what to say, they would probably be super awkward. I'm not really sure why, um, but they would also be like ramped up, talking, rambling, saying stuff they don't mean. And when I say saying stuff they don't mean, it's almost like, not like in a lion type of energy, but like in a cute type of energy. It's almost like they're just, it's like word vomit <laughs> because they're so nervous. That's what I'm getting for some of you guys. So let's see, whoever Power Four is thinking about, um, how would they react or how would they be if they were to see Power Four again, okay? We have the strength card, Leo energy, um, building up their confidence to talk to you. Six of Pentacles, you know what this is giving me? Whoever this is, oh, I feel so bad for them. Oh, it's a cute energy, but it's like, it's not. Cause some of y'all, I don't know. I, I don't know, it depends on who you are. It's almost, I keep getting this like a guy or like a girl coming up to you and they're just trying to play their position. They're trying to play a part that they feel like makes them look more confident because they weren't really expecting to see you, but they're really nervous. I just hear somebody and see somebody like looking at you or see you and they're like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, I gotta play it cool, I gotta play it cool, like what do I do? Y'all might go up to this person and talk to them. They might be very short with you. They might portray this confidence. And for some of y'all, maybe they are confident um, naturally, but something about your presence is actually making them very nervous, but they have to play it real cool with you so if y'all was to see this person for some of you guys I feel like they would engage in conversation with you but if they're seeming like they're like not as into the conversation it's a, it's a scam like I don't know why they feel like they can only give you so much um it's almost like they feel like they have to portray themselves a certain way so if y'all look really good to this person and they're intimidated by you they almost feel like they have to be a certain way in order to kind of own the moment with you it's almost like they have to I don't know how else to say it. It, it, it's just giving that. Yeah, I keep trying to go in and, and tell y'all, but it's literally the same thing. I feel like I'm like a CD player. That's how they would be. They would keep on saying the same thing. And it's like, you're like, okay, like what's going on? So it's giving me that this person likes you. I was just about to say, this is the pile where I couldn't really see y'all cards. I remember seeing these two, but I couldn't see this one. Page of Swords. I'm telling you, yes, and this is separate energy, nine of pentacles. This is y'all energy, nine of swords. This is the thing, you see what I'm saying? This is what they would portray to you. This is what you know. I think you'll be able to feel that they're being awkward, that they are nervous, um, that they kind of, it's almost like they're trying to own the conversation. They're trying, but it's almost like, and I don't even think, y'all might not even notice it. Maybe you're not trying to make this person feel intimidated, but something about y'all energy just intimidates this person. So they gotta do all of this to try to be on your level, but really on the inside, this is how they feel. So it's almost like whoever this is, I feel like they would wanna talk to you, but it's almost like when they meet you and see you again, it's almost like it, it, it <laughs> Uh, I don't want to say it like that, but it kind of like, it's a sm not a smack in the face. I won't say it like that, but this is going to be a reminder that they are not on your level. So to me, this is giving like a crush or someone that wants to be your friend. Um, I could just picture them. 
it's almost like they, and I hate that they feel like that. It's almost like they feel like they, they can't be on your level. They're overthinking. They go home, they're like, damn, I blew it. Like, damn, like, why did I say that? Like, damn, why didn't I get her number? Or, dang, why didn't I, why was I acting like that? Or why didn't I, I don't know. I just see a lot of that. So this person naturally overthinks. Um, and let me see if I can get some more. Why the strength card? Why the strength card pile for? I just keep feeling like this person feels like they have to match you. That could be a Leo. Yeah, strength card, queen of wands, four of cups. I'm telling y'all, it's giving. It's giving that you look very good. They see you in this queen of wands energy, nine of pentacles energy, whether you're masculine or feminine, that's how they see you. I don't know. Whether you guys feel like you're in that energy of looking good, feeling good, confident, um, hair done, nails done, everything did, money's right, looking tight, I don't know. But that's how they see you. It's almost like when they talk to you, I feel like this person has like, I keep, this is the thing, y'all could talk to this person and be just as like nice and sweet as pie, but it's like because of who they are, they're just naturally an overthinker. They're naturally going to feel like they didn't, oh gosh, somebody here, it's either you or them, but I'm really picking up on them, but now I'm picking up on it. It might be some of y'all, especially if that resonates where this is like a crush or something. It's almost like someone feels like, even if the, the conversation went well, they still feel like it didn't go well. So, I don't know. It's almost giving me, whoever this is, their self-esteem's a little bit low. Why the Six of Pentacles? Give me one second, y'all. I'm having a brain fart. Because this Six of Pentacles, y'all know I haven't done this in a while. Why am I having a brain fart of what the Earth signs are? Okay, Taurus energy. So, I think, I think so, yeah. King of Pentacles. Okay, Earth sign energy here. So, it's, and that's the thing. Remember how I said, like, they probably are confident, for real, like, outside of you? Something about y'all makes them not confident or makes them feel like they're not on your level. And I feel like y'all might have dated this person before. Maybe that's what happened or there was some type of rejection here before. I don't know. But, like, it's like if they would just chill out, <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? Like, oh, my gosh. Like, things would go fine. With that Wheel of Fortune being in reverse, it's almost like... They would feel, and I'm picking up on the energy of how they would feel after they saw you. They would almost feel like they missed an opportunity, like it just wasn't the right time. Y'all know, this is what it's giving. Put this in here how it needs to be put in there, okay? It's almost giving me like if you break up with somebody and you're trying to get like, you know, when you be in that energy of like, oh, I'm about to work out, I'm about to get on my shit, and then I'm going to bust out. But it's almost like you had a specific time where you wanted to bust out. And I don't know, maybe you went to the mall or something one day and this is like well before the bus out period and you end up seeing the person. You're just like, oh my fucking gosh, like that just ruined my whole shebang. That's what it's giving. It's almost like someone's going to feel like I wasn't fully in my stardom <laughs> with the star card, Aquarius energy, Ten of Cups energy. I wasn't fully where I wanted to be before we were to see each other. But whoever this is, I feel like there's a lot of admiration here. So I definitely feel like someone likes you um, for sure. I meant to show this to freaking pile three. King of Swords and the Emperor. This is what I meant to show them. It was some crazy stuff happening in pile three. I forgot about these. I'm sorry. But that was separate. Um, yeah, I just feel like there's a lot of like daydreaming. A lot of like we could be something. But it's like they, I don't know. Something about you makes them very nervous. So what's really going on? Okay. So yeah. Pile four. Let's see if I can pull you guys another one. I got a little distracted for a second. Let me see. Pile four. Messages. Anything else? Pile four. Person. How would they? Yeah, we have commitment. I want you to be a part of my life. And we have mistakes. I wish I could right my wrongs. I'm telling you. I don't know what they're overthinking about. It's like if they saw you and then went home that night. It's like they would be reminiscing about how they could have done better. But I feel like with that Ten of Cups and this commitment card, honey, like, who is this? I feel like they be spying on you already. Like, believe it or not, this person probably already be looking at your page, your higher self. It's almost like this is how they view you, a loving being. So when they come around you, it's almost like your frequency is just so high. They don't know what the fuck to do. But they want, whoever this is, they want to be in your life. Let me say it like that. We have discovery, joyous fun. Whoever this is, they be spying. They want to take you out on a date or they want to like reconnect, recounsel. I don't know how that resonates. Like I said, either platonic or romantic, but this is giving me a very much so romantic vibe. So yes, power for that is your spirit. Please let me know how it resonates and I'll see you guys down in the comments.